going on boys and ghouls JT back at you with another update uh, movie John 75 did a video calling me out saying he wanted to see some videos from me and stuff so here's your video John cool guy check out movie John 75 if you guys haven't subscribed to him and as you can see I'm back in the bathroom I don't know if any of you guys used to watch my old channel uh, my Josh Terry 22 channel first channel that I had he used to do all my videos in the bathroom because I lived in a very small place but uh you know, just feels comfortable, so I figured I'd bring them back maybe for a little bit, see what you guys think about it or whatnot. And I plan on doing some on the crapper reviews of crappy movies while I'm sitting on the toilet uh, in the near future. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But uh, got some VHS DVDs um, to show here, and one poster which I'm gonna go ahead and show. Um, I've had this poster for a very long time, and this is Nightmare on Elm Street for. Uh, Dream Master original cardboard poster and this thing's pretty beat up but it's still pretty cool I've had this probably since I would say maybe 1992 93 something like that I wanted at a uh, carnival that came to our town and like a, a dart throwing balloon contest and I won this. It's pretty sweet. So I'm going to try to get this up on my wall. Now it was in my closet for a long time. So I figured why not show it off. Pretty cool. Freddy there. And now on to the VHS. I got three tapes here. Nothing spectacular. First up we got Dinosaur City. This is a film I used to watch all the time back in the day. I remember we watched this in a, at school one day. And um, I loved the movie and went and rented it many times after I watched it. And this is about a boy going into like a, uh, excuse me, like a dinosaur world. Pretty cheesy, but pretty fun. Great 90s, maybe 80s. I think it's 90s, though. Kind of has that uh, pre-hysteria, I think is the name of that film, kind of feel to it. And this kid right here playing some stuff. I can't think of what, but uh, this tape is cut to hell. This may cut the uh, whole top and sides out of it, but it's still for a buck, you know. It's was, it was cool to find. Next up here, this is really, really beat. The cover's ripped off of it pretty much. And this is Jack Frost 2. And I busted the case here trying to get it out. I mean, it's just beat, beat the crap. But I've never seen Jack Frost 2, and it was also a dollar. So I was like, uh, you know, I want to check out the sequel to the infamous, cheesy, uh, crappy Jack Frost that I love. And uh, used to rent it all the time whenever the video store was back in, in business back in the day. But never did see the sequel. So I'm going to check this out eventually. And the next up here, I don't think this is that a DVD release, this is a Shadow Creature. Um, don't know much about this movie, this looked cool. Knew that it wasn't on DVD, and I think that I may have seen this before, but it's got some really cool monster looking stuff on the back of it here, so, and a cool cover. So, Shadow Creature, for a buck, you know, why not? And uh, I have a call if I sound kind of weird. But now into the DVDs that I picked up, not a whole lot, like I said. This is going to be kind of a quick update, I guess. But expect a lot of videos from me this year. Um, I know John and uh, Scott from Scott Slasher World both did videos saying what they're going to do this year. And I have a whole lot on, on the plate for 2011. I got a uh, full-length uh, movie film, full-length feature uh, in the works. Writing on it right now, writing the script and talking to some people about getting it together. I know I've told you guys about it for a long time, but it's going down this year. It's going to be shot on VHS. Um, so, you know, if you're a fan of like Woodchipper Massacre, Cannibal Camp Out, or The Ripper, or films like that, then you may enjoy what I'm about to do. So, you know, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'm going to do video updates on it and whatnot. But, uh, DVDs wise, we, wise, I can't talk. Um, here tonight we got Apocalypse Now. This is the special edition, the confidential case here. And it's two discs. I'm not going to get it out because it's a pain in the ass to open up. This has tons of special features, and as if the movie wasn't long enough already, it's extremely long. Um, well, 202 minutes, it's not too bad, but well, I remember when I first watched this, it seemed like it lasted three days, but uh, a lot of special features. Really good Vietnam movie, uh, Marlon Brando. Guys know Apocalypse now. Next up here, we have the horror cult uh, film Jeepers Creepers, and uh, had been a while since I've seen this, and I, I, I like this movie. I always did uh, when it first came out. And I researched the director of this, and it seems he got, in, he got himself in some trouble back in the 90s. And I didn't know that he was the same director from Clown House, and that's a really weird movie. Um, I have that one on VHS. 
Uh, I think it has a DVD release, but it's really expensive. But Clown House is weird, and seems that seems to be the director from this was kind of, you know, I don't know, kind of weird, we'll say. But uh, Jeepers Creepers, very good movie. And the sequel was was okay, and they're putting a, a third out to this. I've seen on the internet the third comes out this year actually, so it'll probably be straight to DVD. But it'd be cool to check it out. Um, I really like the creature guy killer or whatever in this film. I thought it was always cool. Next up here we have American Drive-In. This just looks uh, cheesy to the max, like a uh, almost like a 80s, not really sex comedy, just a 80s cheese comedy. Same uh, director from Hard Rock Zombies, and apparently talks about Hard Rock Zombies in this movie. That's what really drew me to it. And I figured OD 666666666 would like this uh, this film. He's my boy, you know. OD triple six triple six, we'll say. Um, but he's in the same kind of stuff I am. Very cool dude. Check him out if you haven't. Um, but, yeah, check this out, dude. If you haven't watched this, I haven't watched it either, so... Maybe a dog turd, who knows. But, it looks cool. And the back of it looks cool. I'm gonna check that out, probably. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. Then I've got a lot, of, a lot to watch. Next up here, we have the... The classic uh, car exploitation, 70s car chase film, Vantage... Er, Vanishing point, almost a vantage point. Um, but this case is kind of ripped. But this is an awesome car chase movie. Uh, kind of psychedelic uh, in the style maybe of Easy Rider a little bit. But a uh, very cool movie. This is what inspired uh, Quentin Tarantino on Death Proof, one of the films. That's what originally drew me to this movie. Um, and he just really does great genre films. Like if he wants to do, you know, a car exploitation film, he does it, you know. That's, that's all I said, but Vanishing Point's awesome. Check it out. I was happy to find that one. I've been after it for a while. Next up here we have Sonny Chiba's uh, Street Fighter. And this was pretty cool. This was almost in the style of Bruce Lee martial arts films. Um, had some cool blood and stuff in it, you know. Um, I haven't got to watch the end of it yet. It kind of fell asleep, but it was, it was a decent movie. And I was happy to find this because this is supposedly one of the best uh, exploitation kung fu films around, so... Street Fighter, Sonny Chiba, peep him. And next up here we have, picked this up today at Walmart uh, just a little bit ago for $2.50. They had some box sets, some of these uh, Mill Creek, uh, they're, they're crappy transfers and stuff, but for $2.50, 23 hours of kung fu goodness here. You can't beat that. This has a lot of Dragon Lee films on it and some uh, Bruce Lee, Bruce L-I, not Bruce L-E-E. -E. Yeah, some Bruce exploitation. This is the reason I picked this up. Some good old kung fu exploitation movies for two fifty. Twenty three hours. Can't wait to dig into this. So this is you know and this also has uh, the real Bruce Lee, which has some footage of of real Bruce Lee. I, I used to own it, um, but I think I got rid of it. But it's cool to have this this back again. Well, cool to have that set with that film back in it. And last but not least, this has been around for a while and a lot of people picked this up. This is Gore House Greats. Picked this up at Walmart also for five bucks. This is another Mill Creek release. All these in here have uh, paper sleeve covers on them. Because um, I own a few of these Mill, Mill Creek releases like the Ernest box set and the Sunny Chiba box set. It's, all, it's also 250 at Walmart. So if you guys are wanting to pick up some cheap Chiba uh, martial arts films, these are the way to go. But this, I picked this one up mainly for Stanley. I used to have a copy of Stanley, but um, I, I don't know what I've done with it. I think maybe my dad has it now um, because it was in something else and I gave it to my dad. But uh, there's a few on here that I want to check out, like Blood Mania. We've kind of been interested in that one for a while. And uh, Satan Slaves, I think, is the other one. Um, and Trip with the Teachers, like a, like a Last House on the Left rape, uh, rape type movie, I believe. Looks like an exploitation kind of, kind of David Hesfield kind of movie, and I'm I'm really can't wait to check that out. Terror also looked pretty cool, but this has 12 movies in it. Good, you can't beat that for five bucks. It's, Stanley alone is worth five bucks to me. Um, I'm a really big fan of that movie, but guys, pick those up if you want to. If not, pick it up anyway, because I don't care. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.